right, everybody. It is time for our first natural deduction rule. And that rule is called reiteration. And what that rule tells us is that if we have a statement up against the scope line in our problem, then we can repeat it later on and justify it with this rule. So it's the idea that if it was true before, then if we're repeating ourselves, it's still true. And the way the rule is written is we've got a scope line, and it says, well, you've got lines, maybe lines one, lines two, and if on this given line you have a P, then you can repeat the P, or whatever other statement it is that you're needing to repeat, and the way you justify it is by writing R over to the side to indicate reiteration, to say you're repeating yourself, and then right in front of the R, you write the number of the line where you got the information the first time. So if what you want to repeat is on line three, then you're going to justify your repetition by writing an R and then a three. All right, now let's look at an example of how we would use this. So say we've got a really simple argument. We've got, let's see, P and Q is our premise, and P and Q is our conclusion. So how are we going to go about proving that if our premise says we accept that P and Q is true, then it naturally follows that P and Q is true? Well, that's kind of obvious. It's sort of like a one-piece puzzle. The premise, our puzzle piece, is exactly the same as the conclusion. So if we were going to write this out and actually demonstrate its validity using natural deduction, we would start, we draw our scope line, we would put our premise down, at the top, P and Q, put it on its little shelf. We only have one premise here. Then at the bottom, we're going to write P and Q, because that's our conclusion that we're looking for. And we can put, we can number line one, which is our premise, and over here we justify it by saying it's an assumption, so we're assuming it's true. Then we come down to the conclusion and we say, okay, where could we get P and Q from above it? We look and we go, oh, look. There it is, line one, we have P and Q. All we need to do is repeat ourselves with the rule of reiteration, and we justify that by writing an R for reiteration, and then saying we got it on line one. And that's all we need to do. Now we've entirely justified everything, we don't need any new information, so we can just finish up our problem by numbering all the lines. In this case, we only have two, lines one and lines two, and the problem is now complete with the rule of reiteration. So once again, the reiteration rule says that if you've got something up against the scope line, which means it's true, then you can repeat it later because, I mean, it was if it was true the first time, it's going to be true the second time. And all you do to justify that is write an R in your justification column and then the number of the line where you got the information the first time. And there you go. Ta-da! First rule.